Yo, what is... Oh, pe- Victoria, give me a fucking break. What's up, people? For those who just tuned in, join me today. <laughs> Sorry, she kind of, like, threw me the freak off. But, uh, we're sneaking in Victoria's room. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Right. You guys can pause and read that. She won't let me read it, so... You guys have to pause She's it. actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. She thinks too much. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Exactly. Impress me colored. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting-edge tech. Right. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. It's not stealing if you're borrowing. Oh my god. If I had that much money for a 3D printer, this guy... They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kind of like Victoria. Be the limit. Before she cut me off. Dior, Givenchy... You could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Yeah, I doubt it. Those boots are made for walking runways. Damn. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says. That's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. Only Mr. Jefferson. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Oh my god. That's too much to read, and uh, she won't let me read it, so you guys are going to have to pause and read it. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. So you say. Maybe her and Jefferson are a thing. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. So says the girl that is talking crap about everybody. Ah, that's the ticket. Nice. Alright, let's adventure on to the lab tap. But but first, I'm on... Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Yes. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Right. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Oh, shit, I didn't mean I'll give up. Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. I didn't mean to cut you guys off on that one. Boom! Sorry. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Right, like a stealth ninja. No one will be seen ahead. Let's go and print the email. No one will even know I was here. This isn't even recycled paper. Victoria's not doing her part to save the Earth. But this is... This no. better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to cut you off again. Oh, I didn't know she had photos right here. Speaking of selfies... Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. <laughs> well, maybe next time she'll keep her room locked. Hopefully I don't need to go into it anytime soon, because if I do, I just screwed myself. Pretty bad. But, uh, back Juliet, to Juliet, read this. Of course! This girl seems... I'm like an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. She's wearing Illuminati earrings, guys. This game's all about the Illuminati. Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Right. And then we shall go on that date. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. Right. 
Uh, ooh, pregnancy test. Let's... That looks like a home pregnancy test. <laughs> really? Echo, echo. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. Oh, God. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. <sighs> I think you better go. So busted. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Right, because she'll never know that I uh, looked at it or even took it. As soon as I rewind it pretty fast. It's the Illuminati earrings. She knows everything. Dana really does look stressed about all this. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. I heard a rumor about you. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. Of course. I... was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Bam. Who then? Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. <laughs> it right. would be a cool sticker without the words. Right. This is both sad and pathetic. Go ahead and read that. Um, okay. Even though I didn't get a chance to read that, but I'm just going to nod, say... Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't look. But it's Facebook. We should always look. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And, yes, Max, so terribly wrong. But so terribly right at the same time. We're at a dilemma right now. Let me grab that flash There's drive. There's that damn flash drive. Right. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> okay. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. But we don't care. You're going to leave anyways. Good lord. Dana really was on her own. God, I, I act like I'm an investigator checking out the possibility that the crime is somewhere in everybody's room and interrogate everyone. Oh god. He wants, wants to uh, communicate. Alright. I got your damn flash drive. So just leave me alone. I should hold it hostage. Tell Warren I won't give it to him unless he gives me something in return. Which I don't know. What it would be. This shit. Ow! <laughs> that hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Damn, we better not rewind. <laughs> All right. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Oh. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. No, you didn't. There's wet paint Max, there. That was awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Right. Because it's like a must, I would imagine. I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious dick. Poor Juliet. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Well, I wasn't asking for interviews, damn it. I was interrogating, not interviewing. There's a difference. Let me waterboard, torture him, kind of thing. Oh, God. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Uh, let's go ahead and take the photo so we know we have evidence. You can't about. fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. 
Yeah, leave Kate alone. Jesus. Poor Kate. But she all want to be by herself and stuff. Oh God. Hope busted. you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. What? You have no idea what I just done for you. Now you get evidence. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. No, we're not going to do it. We're going to go ahead and keep the evidence in our hand so that everybody knows that uh, that guy was messing around with Kate. Not messing around with Kate, but, uh, yeah, doing something. And there's that drone. She won't let me mess with. Oh, can we can't stop by the pool. Damn it. I wants to go the swimming route. That's a squirrel. Quick, get him. Ah, now to the parking lot. Hey, there's like a camper out there. I think. I don't know it yet. It might have been Man, a camper. I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. Oh, another Illuminati reference. They're on to me. I don't no. get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Are you talking to me? Juliet or? still looks upset about Zack and Victoria. I don't blame her. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry. I'm still screwed up. Sorry about Sorry that. you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zack yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexed Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. <laughs> All right. What does that say? I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. I can't read that. I don't even know what it says. So anybody, anybody knows Come what that over said? Here. Please. Damn it, Warren, you just interrupted me. And there's me. Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? Looks like Look it. Look at Warren and his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. <laughs> what up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. No kidding. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. <laughs> uh, neat. Really? Yeah. I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By right. the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace. You can right draw? Now. I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, sure. thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Why? I've seen it. Seen it? I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. <laughs> no, no, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Oh, Who yeah. would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. 
Oh, it's sly. But you seem distracted. It's really sly. I need to talk to somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Sure Tell you me won't. everything. For reals, right. Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Oh my god. You're one of the he... Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. I gouge him, I gouge him, I gouge him. Or Answer me, bitch! Oh, tell him the truth then. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And wow, did what? Wow, Give wow. you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Back away. Homeboy. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Oh. Hey, what? leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the no. bathroom! <gasps> oh my god. Ooh. Damn, I almost got hit. Max? Chloe? What? No way. You again. Go! Oh, go! Oh, I got this! Spear! Spear! Dang, spear! Max. Okay. Get your punk asses out of there now! Oh. Don't even try to run! Nobody! Yes, we... Nobody! <laughs> yes, we do.